Healthy mobility is good for us because we know that um, our sedentary lifestyles exacerbate problems such as a heart and diabetes and, and obesity. And by getting out there and being active in terms of walking and cycling, that can really help our health. And one of the things we can do is encourage people to walk and cycle more by giving them good quality public spaces in which to do it. One of the possible barriers to people getting on their bikes is thinking that it's too much effort. And so if we can encourage use of electric bicycles, that could be a way of getting people to be more active. Health and mobility is all about whichever means of travel you choose, be that walking or cycling, that we make that as safe as possible. What we don't want is a society when some modes of travel are much safer than others and so other people are put disproportionately at risk. So when we look at that we need to ensure that the systems are designed, be that the speeds of the vehicles or the segregation of the people in those spaces is managed in a way so we avoid the risk of collisions. Air quality and noise are really important. They have real and measurable impacts on people's health. The challenge is that short-term cost considerations often get in the way of investment to build a truly sustainable and livable transport system. Changes in the vehicle fleet that are already occurring will help with that. I'd like to see progress being made in that area so that we are better at measuring the road contribution to tyre noise.